What's happening, gang? I got a new knife. I got a new knife. I got a new knife. I'm excited to show this one to you. Um, I've been needing a good utility type knife for out in the shop. Um, one that can stay on the toolbox that I can grab. And I wanted one that could take a beating. And I believe this is the one. Uh, you saw the box. Uh, o knife. Heron L1. Kind of look like an LI, but it's not. It's a 1. Let's see what we got here. That's a cool looking patch. It's a toucan. Not a heron. But it's still a bird. But heron L1. Cool. They usually give you a coin with their own knives, but I like the patches too. Let's see what this thing looks like. Well, I suppose we can go ahead and keep digging. Protective pouch for it. And there is still a coin slot. That's interesting. An interesting choice. Let's get some better light over here. There we go. we got down here looks like manual and a wipey rag we won't need a wipey rag we'll just use shop towels there we go there's the wipey wipe me rag let's see what we have to say here real quick before we break the knife out Okay, we have an overall length of 8.38 inches, a blade length, cutting edge blade length of 3.67 inches. Uh, let's see what else here. It is a liner lock, and it's an interesting liner lock. I'll explain all that to you. Uh, multiple ways of opening, and just your basic knife care stuff. So pretty basic. I do have some details on it though, so I'll give you guys as much of that detail as I can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, we're still fighting the Excuse me. Fighting the voice. Okay, there he is. He's a big boy. Let me grab a eight-inch ruler here. Let's turn it over to inches. It'll be upside down there. Let's see what we've got. Just giving you a visual. I'll give you a couple of other visuals too here in just a second. Okay. Roughly four and five eighths inches closed. And then open. We are over eight inches by about a quarter of an inch. So eight and a quarter inches roughly. Like I said, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Now let's do a comparison to some pretty common knives that uh, you guys might have lying around. There's the Benchmade Mini Griptilian, the Benchmade, excuse me, not Mini Griptilian, Mini Bug Out, um, and then the Standard Bug Out. And since I already mentioned it, let's throw a Griptilian out there. That's the Mill Pardue design. There you go. About a quarter of an inch. So this is about eight inches. That's about a quarter of an inch out there. We'll talk about the blade edge too here in just a second. It's another reason why I like it. Uh, let's get the scales out. Get a weight on it. should be able to see it. Let's go ahead and close it. This is on grams. Comes in at 153 grams or 5.40 ounces. Let's do a comparison to the Griptilian. Again, 
5.4 ounces, 4.34 ounces. So roughly an ounce difference between a Griptilian and the Heron L1. Get that out of the way now. All right, let's check out this cutting edge. Um, full disclosure, I've had it out and I've been using it, so it's got it's a little dirty. Not too bad. We have D2 steel right there with a type of Cerakote coating, I believe it is. Let me check to be sure. Give me this second. Black titanium coated. Excuse me. So. That'll help keep uh, the D2 from rusting because D2 is prone to, to rust. We've got the signature Olight Blue in the pivot collar here and then also in the pivot screw here. We have a deep carry right hand tip up only. There is no provision for left hand carry. So left handers, you would carry this in your rear left pocket so that the blade was against your body or against the edge of your pocket. If I was to put it in my front right pocket, I run the risk of that opening like that. And I've been there and done that. It's not fun. Okay, now let's look at this blade. We have a hollow ground section here. Let's get a measurement on that. The hollow ground area is just under two inches and then the flat grind is just shy of an inch and a half. Uh, if that shape is familiar to you this is a Warncliffe style blade edge. It does ramp up a bit here kind of strange in that regard but we have G10 material here uh, in the shape of a gun stock which I thought was pretty cool and it's quite comfortable even with the pocket clip there it's not impeding because my middle or my ring finger just lays right down there so plenty of girth on that handle especially for my arthritic hands I can hold it comfortably um, it has a number of pinch positions so you've got the standard holding okay you can come up to the finger choil and choke up a little bit more. This has a sh slight shallow or hollow grind to it here. It's another way you can do it is to pinch the furrow to get precision, or you can move on up to the very end of the blade using the deployment hole as a ho as a stronghold. So precision cutting. I've cut a few gas lines with this already. It's a zip tie eater. Um, Open some boxes. I've done quite a bit with it. And uh, it's a real good performing knife for the shop. Uh, and this is coming in at a good time for you guys because this thing's going to be on sale on the Obi store. That's Olight's affiliate store is Obi. O B U Y. And would you guys pay 50 bucks for that knife? I know I would. Okay, your sale begins at 8 p.m. this evening, which is April 16th. And it runs until 11.59 p.m. on April 22nd. So, $51.99. What? These knives are made by Kaiser. And this one's going to make an awesome, awesome addition to the shop. Let me give you just some final details. We have a liner lock right here. Okay. And you saw that drop shut. There is zero blade play up and down, left and right. You've got your nice flipper tab that'll come down and hit your thumb. And it allows it to get past the ball detent. And it just drops right shut. Ways to open, you can reverse flick just like that. You've got front thumb flick just like that. You have a 
flipper tab. Whoops, I hit the camera. Flipper tab. Many ways to open. And as you can see, it's easy to manipulate as a left-handed person. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can get all... Yep, there's the reverse flick. Here's the thumb flick. And... <laughs> did it again. There we go. Okay. Um, it is running on bearings. And what's cool is... It's double row bearings encased in nylon cages. Um, I have had the knife apart to take a look at it. We were talking about the liner lock here. It has a nice deep cutout on the opposite scale so that you can easily get in there and get a hold of that lock. Okay? Very easy to manipulate right or left handed. Um, Inside this liner for the liner lock is milled. It's a little difficult to see, but we'll see if we can't get in there and take a look. Now you can see that it's milled in there. Then we turn it over and we look at this other scale here. There is no steel liner at all. It is just G10 on this side of the knife. It's the first time I've seen that where they've not been symmetrical and have had liners in both scales. Pretty neat design, but that is possibly what kept it from being able to move the, uh, reverse the pocket clip for reverse carry. But it's not a problem. That's my new shop knife. You guys, uh, leave a link in the description you guys can click on. Also on any regularly scheduled, um, or regularly priced item on the website. Uh, I'll give you a code for 10% off. And on top of that, just for logging in and placing an order, you get free titanium chopsticks for anybody out there who uses chopsticks. And they come in a, you can get them in a um, aluminum tube for storage. You can purchase the tube separately. But the, the titanium toothpicks that you will get will look almost exactly like that square. Uh, they are Oval Life branded, but they're essentially the same thing. So, there we go. That's it. There's your friendly neighborhood Zippo. Check this thing out. Really, really cool. I promise you. I'll see you when I see you.